Hello again, and here I am with another build. The end of the leak, it's the start for the experiments, and I decided to make something strange I've never done before, and it's extra chaos slamming with good movement speed and clear speed, and it could have been one of the best builds, but if it won't be so clunky, on big bosses so as you've seen the mapping is very fun and uh, we just run uh, sometimes we walk right to have our onslaught and smack the packs everything explodes in the lots of loot but um, also how difficult it is to boss maybe on Mavens and Mutations or other like Minotaur with its boulders that fly from the sky and just uh, don't allow you to do anything with your slams. Uh, While well, mapping it's very good, you'll be very happy to try it and you'll be satisfied, but I can't recommend uh, to do it for bossing until maybe I make some corrections because it's pain in the rest. You need to put your totems, uh, then war cry two times, and then slam, and then wait half of a second till uh, the earthquake explodes. But nevertheless, here is the concept we are the slayer for some air of effect accuracy some damage and stun and each immunity maybe berserker will be even better for this as you can see we have tons of evasion armor and defenses through divine flesh and uh, we have 86 maximum chaos resistance and through some megalomaniacs uh, with any other nodes you can get for your budget uh, this uh, Chaos Cluster Jewel is not mandatory and other nodes on the tree are basic, just life, some evasion, armor, onslaught. We don't use any Frenzy or Endurance charges, but while mapping we have our Frenzy charges to have our attack speed. Some auras that we use grace determination purity of elements uh, all of them are very defensive just vitality defines banner uh, that's why it's very difficult to kill us while mapping uh, because we're always up on flasks we are 85 percent chance to evade and 62,000 armor with tons of resistance but as i said before the clunkiness of the build on big bosses is a pain in the ass. Um, two totems, Ancestral Warchief and Spell Totem with Wither, because we have lots of our extra chaos damage through our Minx Heart. For the slam, we need a powerful weapon, so Marohi Erki is one of those, and it's very easy to get one with uh, the corruption for maybe increased physical damage. Uh, or 45 plus inspiration we don't need inspiration here but if you'd play the elemental beat it would be even better the basic devouring diadem for fitting all our errors and to fix dexterity and intelligence uh, with the unveiled mod uh, for the body armor just resistances tons of life uh, gloves fix our accuracy, life regeneration and attack speed because our basic attack speed is not that great. Uh, boots again, action speed, life regeneration rate and uh, resistances. The same is for the amulet and uh, the belt perseverance which gives us lots of damage and defenses. The corrupted version is even better for some attack speed area of effect or whatever you can get. Also, my mace have 45, so uh, onslaught while fortified is uh, a great option for the flasks. Last roar, 
basil flask, steamed flask, jade flask, and uh, the last one is maybe for the life flask. So you can try it, but don't blame me <laughs> if you sometimes you die. Uh, there is no gem slots for custom death portal, so it can be very annoying for you. Like subscribe leave your comments in the commentary section and see you in the next experiment goodbye